Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how the right foot works in the downswing, drills you can do and things you can do with your right foot, what good players do with their trail foot to help their golf swing hit the ball better. In today's video, we're gonna be with Steve Siraki. Steve and I coach together at CogornoGolf.com. Steve coaches out of Woodcrest Country Club in-person lessons in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He's ranked as one of the best young coaches in America, one of the best coaches in New Jersey. And like I said, we coach together at CogornoGolf.com. That's where you can work with Steve and I. You can send us in your swings. We build you a personalized practice plan. Get access to all of our master classes, practice machines, everything you need to take your game to the next level regardless of your skill level. We would love to see you at CogornoGolf.com. We'll put a link down in the description down below. Let's get started. Steve, let's talk about how the right or trail foot works. Um, let's talk specifically downswing. Yeah. Uh, how that affects the other pieces, what good players do, and how someone could use that right foot motion to help the rest of their downswing hit the ball better. Yeah, so I would say sometimes it, it would start out a little bit at the setup where we see you know a golfer, a golfer that would have their foot maybe spinning too much, their right foot come off the ground or spinning. Sometimes where that stems from is the setup, where at the setup they might have their foot, their right foot turned in too much and their knee in too much and that yes. would make the foot start spinning so we might have them you know, okay just feel like you're turning your foot out a little bit and then on the downswing and follow through we would have them feel like their foot just stays on the ground or it just would roll in stay banked in and what that would do is that would help keep the golfer staying in their side tilt through the ball so their right shoulder's lower and then like a poor would be as they get, as they start their downswing, they start spinning and their foot would turn past 90 degrees, turn past 90 degrees and their right shoulder would pop up and they start popping up out of their side tilt and hitting these big pushes or push cuts. Yeah, yeah, that's right up my alley for a long time. So we hear banking the right foot a lot. You hear yeah. people talk about that, you see pictures of it. From someone who maybe wants to work on this or hey, what does banking the foot mean? What would be a good checkpoint, let's say, from down the line? Yeah, the, the so you could, you could do it with no, with no club. You could not even do a backswing, just do your follow through. Just feel like your right foot's like rolling. Yeah. So your right foot would roll in. And by the time you would like finish, your foot might feel like it's at a 45 to the ground. And that would help the hips continue to keep pushing forward, which helps facilitate the side tilt where the right shoulder is lower than the left. Yeah. so that they're not popping up. That helps keep the path of the shaft sometimes going out a little bit more through the ball. All good things that we see on the lesson tee or that they need, that right. they need to, need to do. Um, so I would hit, hit some, you know, do those little ones, foot banked in, and I would feel like my foot's almost like staying down and not ever popping up past 90 degrees. That's yeah. the um, side of the checkpoint. 90 is like the, the red line. You want to try yeah. to keep it below that. So if they're watching from the down the line version, it's like keeping the heel on this side yep. of the toes and not getting it. Yeah, too far like if we if we had like a if we put a water bottle or something like right by your heel. Yep. If I started down and my foot like would spin, see I would hit the club or that water bottle. Gotcha. We want to have the foot feel like it's like rolling in more away from away from that uh, water bottle. And a lot of people you mentioned too the side right the tilt yeah. and, and not popping up. A lot of people that watch themselves from down the line and say, hey, I lose my posture all the time. Right. How do I stay down on the ball, et cetera? A lot of that can be rooted to and fixed through the trail foot. Yeah, I would say that would be like uh, the catalyst. Yeah. Your, foot, your foot would be what kind of controls how your hips work, and then that kind of facilitates how your shoulder, shoulder tilts work through the ball. So if your foot's staying down longer through the ball, I'll just chip one yeah. out here. So if my foot stays down longer through the ball, I'm rolling my foot and bank, it's banked. That's gonna help my hips be a little more forward. It's gonna help my right shoulder stay lower, my head on the wall and not raise up. It's really gonna eliminate like a big push or a push cut shot. Yeah, love that. And that's, again, something I need more of. From the face on perspective, yep. as a checkpoint, and the heel relative to the toes maybe. Yeah, so, well, to go a little bit ahead of you or yep. further is as we're coming down, the foot would be like it's roll, it would be rolling in. Yep be rolling and then by the time we would be finished you can see how my heel is ahead of the toe yeah it's not back because you could have someone try to like keep their foot banked in like okay my foot's banked but where's my weight you yeah, know, like yeah exactly my weight's back so we want to make sure that the heel stays ahead of the toe to make sure that our weight stays forward once again get the bottom of the swing more forward 
Perfect. So let's uh, take a break for a second, Steve. Let's talk about one or two drills. Okay, Steve, so something simple, I think, is an easy drill to start this. Uh, we've just got a little water bottle on the ground. So yeah. how, how do we set this up? How does this work? Yeah, we would set this up like pretty, you know, pretty close to my right heel because we're trying to make sure that our heel doesn't spin. If our heel would spin before there's like any shift, yeah. that would start making the water bottle like, hit off the ground. Yep. And, and, that, and that potentially, as we would start spinning, could make the club come out and us like start popping out of our side tilt. The, the, those bad versions. I, I think for this, for the two things we're looking for checkpoint-wise and why this works so good, we said heel behind the toes from this view. Yep. We said heel right in front of the toes from this view. Correct. Both of those things you can accomplish by just keeping your foot inside of an object back here as it banks. Right, right super, there. super, super simple, simple yep. way to do this. Yeah, and then you just start popping some balls out. I mean, put it pretty close to your heel. Yeah. And then just start, you know, start small, like we always say. Just start hitting the ball out, I don't know, 50, 50, 80 yards. Yeah, perfect. Right, and there's the, so I have my heel, bank, my foot's banked in, my heel's ahead of my foot, and I'm in my side tilt. And someone who's not used to that might feel a little bit more like stretch inside their foot ankle. It's And it might feel like their foot doesn't come off the ground. Yeah. It might feel like it's really just rolling and staying down on the ground. And a lot of these things like we talk about, Steve, right? Like the ultimate feedback from this is recording yourself. Yeah. Right? It's, it's seeing what it looks like on video, adjusting, et cetera. But if someone's going to practice, that's a really, really simple way to be able to change that. Yeah. Change the way the club works into the ball change their tilts yeah you know? and i think a lot of people who pop up through the ball right or lose posture etc uh, can look there first yes check that first use the video and then ultimately change the things yeah uh, later on so beautiful guys that's how the trail foot works that's how you can use that to improve your contact if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below, click the subscribe, and please comment. It really does help our channel out. YouTube likes that, sends our videos out more, so we can continue making videos for you guys. would really appreciate that. If you do like these YouTube-style videos, we're gonna put a card on the screen for a very similar video that you might enjoy. If you do wanna work with Steve and I and our coaches at kagornogolf.com, we'll also put the Kagorno Golf logo on the screen. You could click that, we'd love to see you there.